Salam. Welcome to the soulful lush green nature of Al Barari, a hidden gem in Dubai. The stretch and de-stress yoga sequence will focus carefully on expanding the shoulders, releasing tension and soreness in the area. It will also open the heart chakra, which will naturally encourage you to be more compassionate and present in your life. Let's set our intention today on kindness, starting with kindness to ourselves. This is your time to connect and reflect inward, so roll out your mat and enjoy shoulders to soar. Let's start today seated on the mat. Cross your feet in front of you. Rest the hands on the knees. Take a moment to breathe. You can set your intention during this time. We'll focus today on kindness. As you exhale, open your eyes. Let's begin with neck rolls. Bring the right ear to the right shoulder. And as you exhale, take the neck into a full circle. Bring it to the left. And back forward one more time towards the right. Feel the stretching around the neck. Exhale. And come back to center. Now let's take it to the other side, bring the left ear to the left shoulder, roll the neck to the back, open the throat here, exhale, come back to center, one more time, remember to breathe, as you exhale, come back to center, and look forward, now let's move to cat, cow seated, Place the hands on the knees or on the chins. Inhale, bring the chest forward, look up, arch the back. Exhale, round the back, bring the gaze down and push the belly in. Inhale, come forward, arch the back, bring the gaze up. And as you exhale, push back to cat, rounding the back. One more time, inhale, come forward. Open the chest here, exhale, push it back, extend the arms, one more time, come forward, and exhale all the way back, now come back to center, extend the arms to the sides, and bring the fingertips on the shoulders, now move the elbows forward in circular rotation, bring the elbows to touch, let's do this for five times, Keep the back straight, feel the rotation in the shoulders, exhale, now let's reverse the direction, bring the elbows to the back, open the chest, let's go again, open the chest, rotate the shoulders, Open the arms to the side and reach up and exhale, bend the elbows to cactus arms. Let's do this for five times, focusing on the movement of the shoulders here. Keep the chest open, the back straight and stretch out the fingers. Exhale, extend the arms, extend the fingers. Release the arms, let's go for our overhead shoulder stretch. Bring the right hand and place it on the upper back, palm touching the back. The other hand, grab the right elbow and pull in gently to stretch out the triceps. Exhale, feel the opening in the back. Feel the triceps release. Exhale. Now let's take it to the other side, bring the left hand and place it on the upper back. Open the chest, keep the gaze forward, the neck long and relaxed. Exhale. 
release the palms down to the earth and make your way to tabletop hips over the knees shoulders over the wrists and neck long extend the right leg find your balance and when you're ready extend the left arm forward and gaze forward and engage the core now bend the knee and reach your left hand back and hold the inside of your right foot press the top of your foot into your hand lift your chest and look forward open the chest open the heart exhale release the arm down extend the leg back and come back to tabletop let's take it to the other side inhale extend the leg point the toes find your core find your balance and when you're ready extend the right arm forward look forward one more breath now bend the knee and reach the right hand to the left foot point the toes and push the foot into the hand look forward tiger pose focus on your breath now exhale and release the arm down extend the knee and come back to tabletop stack the hips directly over your knees extend the arms to the top of the mat melt the chest down bring the forehead down to the mat for a deeper stretch you can bring the chin and look forward Notice shoulder blades pulling away from each other, down the spine, collarbones broad, opening your heart. Exhale. Walk the hands to the back and come back to tabletop. Now curl the toes and slowly lift the knees as you exhale to downward facing dog. Extend the arms, extend the back. Feel the stretch in the back of the legs. Now bend one knee at a time. Stretch out the hamstrings. Keep your gaze between the legs. The back is straight. Remember to breathe. Shoulders away from the ears. Stretch out the legs. Now slowly start walking forward to the top of the mat. The knees can softly bend here. Exhale, bring the chest toward the thighs. Release the arms and the neck. Take a moment here. As you inhale, extend the knees slowly. Start rolling yourself up one vertebrae at a time to standing. Stay at the top of the mat. I'm just going to turn around so you can see me better here. Extend the arms above the head and grab the left wrist with the right hand. And as you exhale, lean towards the side. Lean over to the right. Cross the left foot behind of the right and hold here for three breaths. Feel a stretch in the side body. And as you exhale, come back to center. Let's switch to the other side. Grab the wrist, lean over to the side, and bring the right foot behind the left. Three breaths here. As you exhale, feel the stretch in the side body. Keep the neck straight. As you exhale, come back to center. Stand straight. Inhale, extend the arms up to the sky and lift the heels off the mat. Exhale, bring the arms down, bring the feet down. Take it a couple of times, extend, lift off the mat, and exhale, come down. Lift the heels, come to the tip of the toes, stretch up, and exhale, come down. Try to stretch the arms as much as possible, reaching up to the sky, extend the fingers, and as you exhale, release down. One more time, inhale, come up stretch up exhale release down one more time feel a stretch and come down and release 
Now let me join you at the top of the mat. Inhale, extend the arms up to the sky. Now exhale, dive forward to forward fold. Keep the knees stretched, bring the chest down, extend the arms, extend the neck. Take a deep breath here, inhale, halfway look up, extend the back, and exhale, bring the right foot to the back, left foot to the back, hold the plank for three breaths, extend the arms, open the shoulders, exhale, bend the elbows and come down to Chaturanga. Now inhale, upward facing dog, open the chest, look up, exhale, tuck the toes in and push back to downward facing dog. Extend the knees, stretch the back here, the hamstrings. Look between the feet. Now as you exhale, bend the knees. And walk forward to the top of the mat. Forward fold, release the arms. Inhale, slowly start rising up to standing. Bring the arms up to the sky. Bend the knees and come down to chair pose, as if there's a chair that you're just about to sit on. Tuck the tailbone in, shoulders away from the ears. Now bring the palms together to your heart center. Now as you exhale, twist to the side, to the right, and the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Knees in one line, press the palms together, chest lifted. Exhale, come back to center. Extend the knees and drop down to forward fold. Stretch out the arms. Inhale. Slowly come up to standing and let's get ready to take it to the other side. Come back to chair pose, bend the knees, tuck the tailbone in. Shoulders away from the ears. Now bring the palms again to your heart center. Twist to the left side. Tuck the right elbow over the left knee. Push the palms together. Feel the twist in the spine. Open the shoulder blades. Exhale, come back to center. Now release the palms down, forward fold. And slowly as you inhale, start coming up to standing. Now inhale, bring the arms up to the sky, palms together. Exhale, dive forward to your forward fold. Stretch the back, extend the arms. Inhale, bend the knees, plant the palms into the mat and step back to plank. Hold. Exhale, bring the body all the way down to the mat. Bring the chest down, untuck the toes. Now place the forearms just under the chest. Place your elbows under the shoulders, chest forward. Press up into Sphinx Pose. Open the chest, keep the gaze forward. Relax the tailbone, relax the legs and the feet. Let's stay here for a couple of breaths. Core engaged. Now exhale. Release the chest down. Bring the palms next to the chest and let's push back to Child Pose. Extend the arms and the fingers and place the forehead into the mat. Release any tension in the back here. Relax the shoulders and the neck. Connect with your breath. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, make your way to seated. And then bring the back all the way down into the mat, bend the knees, set your feet on the floor, chins at 90 degree angle with the floor, knees over ankles, arms alongside the body. Now as you exhale, press your feet and arms into the floor, push your tailbone upwards and lift the glutes off the floor into a bridge pose. Now release back down, let's do this for five times. As you exhale, push up, engage the glutes, engage the thighs, and exhale, come back down one vertebra at a time. Exhale, push up, press into the feet. You can interlace the arms behind the back for a deeper stretch into the shoulders. Or 
Now keep the arms extended alongside the body. One more time, exhale, push up. Make sure the neck is relaxed. The shoulders are pinned to the ground. Exhale, calm down. One more time, push up. And exhale, release, down. Now for the next pose, I would like you to see how we get into it first before you try on your own. It's very important to keep the neck straight here. Let's start with option one. If this is the first time you get into a plow pose, inhale, activate your core and lift your feet off the floor. Support your hips and lower back with your hands as you lift them off the floor, transitioning to plow pose, halasana. Keep the neck relaxed. You can stay here if that's enough for you today. If you'd like to go for option two, extend the legs and rest your feet directly above your head. Press the toes into the floor. If you'd like an additional shoulder opener, remove your hands from your lower back and extend them. If that's too difficult for you today, you can keep the knees bent or try to do one leg at a time. If your feet can't comfortably reach the mat beyond your head, you can use a chair or a wall to rest your feet on. If it's painful at the base of the neck, use a few folded up blankets. Now exit slowly and with control, place your hands on your back. Hinge at the hips until your feet are high in the sky above your hips, 90 degree angle, and slowly roll down vertebrae by vertebrae until the back is all the way down. Bring the feet into the floor. Now open the knees away from each other and place the soles of the feet together. Allow the hips to open and the lower back to relax into the mat. Bring your notice into your spine, shoulders and relax the body. If you're feeling more open, you can bring the feet closer to your center. You can stay here in this pose for Shavasana or extend the legs all the way to the end of the mat. Relax the feet, relax the arms and open the palms towards the sky. Feel the back melting into the ground. Open the chest. Now bring kindness to mind, starting by kindness to yourself. Take a deep inhale in, positivity and self-love. As you exhale, release any negativity and any judgment. Continue to breathe. Now if you're ready to come out, start moving your fingers and toes. Stretch the arms over the head, stretch the toes. Now keep your eyes closed as you make your way to seated. Come to the side and slowly rise up. Cross the feet in front of you and rest the palms onto the knees. Straighten the back. Take a deep breath in. Reconnect with your breath gently. Bring the palms to your heart center and recognize the unlimited kindness within your heart. Now, lead with it. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Salam. Namaste.